I've had eczema since I was a baby, and growing up, it was hard to deal with other people seeing me with dry skin, rashes, skin that was bleeding or cracked or dry. Especially starting off in elementary school when kids were a lot younger and they didn't necessarily mean what they say. They would comment on my skin asking if it was contagious or if it was skin cancer. And to me, that really hit deep in my heart, hearing from other kids that they didn't want to be around me. My eczema hit the lowest of lows junior year of high school. It was to the point where I couldn't go to school anymore. I couldn't play sports. I couldn't even walk. It started a cycle of constant depression, misery, and pain. On February 13th, 2020, uh, my mom actually saw that I was barely even moving. My skin was becoming colorless. What the doctors realized is that because my eczema is so severe and I have so many wounds in my skin, that infection actually got into my bloodstream. My eczema caused my body to go into septic shock. Creating videos and content is something that I truly cherish. Throughout high school, I made videos for my football team, basketball team, and different sports teams at my school. One of my goals and dreams in high school was being able to film a big ACC football school. Funny enough, Georgia Tech actually found my football videos and reached out to me saying, hey, we really like your work. We want you to come here and join our creative media team. My advice to someone who has eczema or a similar physical condition is to keep a positive mind and keep positive energy. Me personally, I was at a point where I didn't think I could get any better, that there was no solution. But having my mom, my dad, and my brother as my main support group, they helped me stay positive and just making sure that I knew they were there for me really helped me stay positive and stay hopeful. It's very cool to be on the field, on the sidelines, being able to hear all the fans around you in the stadium cheering. And I think it's just a cool feeling to be able to do what I love. That's where I really found my purpose.